Good everybody, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. You guys absolutely crushed the like goal. Bro, in less than one day, you guys got 400 likes. And by the way, I apparently owe you guys a chicken video. Well, downside to that, uh, there's no chicken currently in this test build, so I can't do it. But I most likely will be making that on the new test server or when the main server comes live. Anyway, today's video, what we are going to give you guys is the KN builds. But we're going to do the same thing as the slug build. We're going to be comparing two versions of it. Rather than do one version and being like, this is OP, we're going to compare two versions of the guns that you can actually use. And actually, we'll probably make a video about explaining the three types of guns that you can use. Actually, I want to make a video. I have two types of video I want to do, okay, chat? Um... I'm gonna probably make a new nuke loadout that you guys can probably use in next season that will help you out to get nukes. And secondly, a loadout, or I'm just probably gonna make a video just telling you what's the best way to prepare for season nine. So that way you guys don't accidentally spend all your things. Anyway, I digress. I don't wanna talk too much about it. Those videos are gonna come out. We don't even need to have a like goal, but if you guys wanna smash the like button, I would highly appreciate it. Maybe get above 500 likes, that'd be great. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys basically the two loadouts that we have. We also have the possibility to do a pretty balanced loadout or like a slightly stronger loadout in one specific area. So there's kind of like three type of uh, stuff you can kind of work on, either range, mobility, slash uh, ADS speed, as well as the um, recoil control. And basically you kind of want to choose two out of three when you're working on it. That's the thing, you're going to sacrifice one of them. So uh, anyway, we're going to do two extremities. We're going to do like pure damage build, so like far range and stuff like that, as well as recoil control. And the other one's going to be uh, ADS speed and mostly mobility. So actually four, four categories, more or less. But I could have done like a pretty balanced build, but I wanted to do the full like one end on the other end and you guys can actually compare to see which one is basically part of your build and um honestly i think these are two popular builds that will happen though so you'll see this one right here it's our range build which we have three basic perks slash attachments which i always would use which is like the long shot right here which is damage range boost with no drawback monolithic suppressor with silence and damage range only downside is the ads speed honestly the movement speed and the bullet speed accuracy is not gonna be that huge especially if you're only taking long range fights we also have this here which gives you damage range lateral recoil and ads spread accuracy you lose out on the ads speed and the movement speed and then you have the rare grip the rear grip not rare grip rear grip that will be able to give you vertical recoil control lose out on spread accuracy which is fine and then we have the strike under grip or foregrip which is vertical recoil ads spread accuracy but you lose out on movement speed so you're not gonna be as fast but you have some really good recoil as well as some great damage and honestly, you could have probably switched out a few things. I've tried it out instead of having, for example, like this barrel. Actually, was it this barrel? barrel? I'm not exactly sure which one it was. I'm pretty sure it was the marksman barrel or the silencer barrel. And put the laser sight just to have a ADS accuracy. I believe it was the muzzle because that's the one that has ADS speed, right? Or this one. I don't remember which one it was. One of them because the recoil is fairly manageable. But anyway, that's something for a different video, maybe for when the test live server comes up. But then again, like I mentioned, that is going to be our range build. We can also check out our what it's called da, 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 da. our movement slash ads build it's gonna look absolutely hilarious look how crazy this looks it does it looks really like an smg now it really does so it is our ads build everything here is gonna be full as as by as i mean ads i was gonna say as is attack speed but it's adsing so ads speed both spread accuracy being lost here no stock movement speed ads we lose a bit like a bit of recoil control which is fine you also have ADS here, sprint speed. We have a laser sight here. So again, like I said, you can always take off stuff. So like for example, if I wanted to fix the recoil control instead of a long shot, I'd probably put like a, uh, what is it? A little under barrel to get that recoil control, but it would probably be like the movement speed, uh, this one. It would probably be this one, lose down on movement speed and be able to control the recoil a little bit better. But then again, like we said, pure ADS, everything here is gonna be for the ADS. So we wanted to compare both of them. And uh, for our perks, obviously it's gonna be the basic one, lightweight, oh, why did it say agile? Oh, I put agile so it could be even faster, but I honestly don't think you need agile. So we're actually gonna put it, with all things is the same, we're gonna keep lightweight here because we were testing it out and uh, it's gonna be the same thing. And we also have our non equipped anything so you can compare more or less the damage. So first thing we're gonna do, hop into training and then we'll probably do like hard points on shipment because it's the fastest one or whatever map I can find that's super small. All right, so we're currently, oh, for those wondering what I'm playing on, obviously this is a tablet and it's Android. It is the Tab S5e. I bought it specifically for this. I wanted to test it out. It's not great for gaming, I'll be honest with you guys. It's 
it's okay. It's like kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like if you can get an, an iPad would probably be the best. But anyway, this is for testing. We're using it for a test server. So let's go ahead and um, show you guys our control group, which is basically our group that has, I don't remember if it's what, anyway, this is, has no attachments on it, all right? So if we take a look at the close range ADS, it's not bad, no attachments on it. Our, our damage close range, 26 up to, I believe it's 10 meters. Even 10 meters might not even be, oh yeah. Okay, 10 meters is good. Again, this might be glitched, so we'll find out in game. 24 at uh, 10, 20 meters, and then you can see our recoil control is probably, oh, I feel like it got nerfed a little bit, but that's just me. And you guys will see the first few shots are pretty manageable, but pretty wonky if we just, uh, like I'm not gonna control it this time to show everything you guys how I see. Yeah, it does like a little S as you can see. So a, a little bit of uh, horizontal recoil there, but a lot of vertical recoil. And then uh, if we go to 30 meters, the damage should be a lot less. 24 still, that's not bad. And then at our 40 meter mark, we're gonna have 19. So that's, like I said, our control group, which has no ability at all. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on our range build. So basically this is the damage range boost about 30% increase. Um, at this range, it was 19 before, so 24 damage at that range. The recoil is going to be a lot manageable, so you guys can see. At that range, you can laser. It does have some pretty crazy horizontal recoil now, which is kind of insane, but still. And we can see, actually, it's actually not that much slower. The ADS speed, people are saying it's slow ADS. It's actually not that bad, all things considered. It does 30, 20, 26 damage up to 30 meters. 26 damage up to 30 meters, which, and obviously the recoil with the recoil control, that's actually pretty lasers. Like the first few shots have like barely any recoil, as you can see, like it's very easily manageable, right? So you can be like, bop, that's like one tap, one tap. No, sorry, by one tap, I mean, it's gonna be one one uh, hold of a, one, one hold. I don't know what, I don't know how to call it. I'll be honest with you guys. How do you call it? But the recoil control from, we're actually gonna check 20 meters because that's where we checked before. Again, 26, so 26, so without holding it, yeah. So that you can see with that vertical recoil control is actually pretty manageable and you can just hold it. It does have some horizontal recoil. So I kind of happy that um, I put the lateral control, but I think I might switch it back to the vertical so that we can have like really good like burst fire. So you can just like laser people and obviously those close range ones, you're, you're gonna just still do 26 damage. But you can see, com if we compare like to our base one, like, this one is, right? It's like, it's an AR, right? So it's gonna be a little slower than other stuff, but it's not that much slower. Like it's slow, but it's not that much slower. But let's compare it to this one, all right? This is our fast speed one, all right? Yeah, okay, this is like way faster. If you compare this one to the other one, way faster. But let's take a look at the damage, 26 damage. 20 meter, 26 damage at 20 meters, which is still good. Doesn't have great recoil control now, I'm guessing. Yeah, the, so. That's the downside. So it kind of can use this like a, a, a run and gun style because like, look how fast you're going to move now. Like you got great mobility and then you can just walk in and bow and then bow, right? Obviously we're not even going to bother. Like the range at 30 is going to be the same as the red regular one, 24 damage. And then you can actually have this at 40 and potentially if you actually make it more balanced, I can test this a little more to add maybe one barrel to make it 30. But I remember testing it and at 30 meter, you needed all three of them to have 26. So honestly, we can actually compare the ADS speed again to the first one. See, so it is actually significantly faster. Like I think it's like a half a second. And then if you actually go ahead and check the other one, this is like, boom, it's like so fast, so fast. But then again, you lose out on the recoil control and the range. But again, like I said, if you go like a close range kind of gunfight, right? KN does have pretty fast time to kill. I would love to test this out with the HBR. Like if you're just using it like a, like a RUS alternative. Again, that recoil is kind of like hard after the first amount because the first few shots are like not too bad. You guys will see, but after that, it's like wonky. Look at that, it's like a super S. Like the first few you can control it and you just, it's kind of hard to control. So. Overall, I don't know. I personally like the long range build a lot. Obviously, let's compare it to the long range ADS. So this is probably like 0.75 seconds, like 0.75 seconds. And then the other one is like 33%. Oh, I went to settings. I didn't mean to do that. Like you can check right here. Like, look at this. Look how fast that is. But then again, like I said, 
the recoil at 30 like how much can you really laser there like look at that recoil it, you, you unless you control it really well like it is ridiculously hard and you have to hit five shots so up to 30 meters you're not going to hit anybody but but those but this here bro like ease oh wait that's that's a glitch it, we saw it was 26 before but it's so easy to actually hit him so i don't know what we'll happened to a game we'll compare both of them and uh, you guys will let me know in the comments down below at the end all right so we actually decided to do a nuketown domination instead so that we'll do each half one of each gun i didn't want this video to be too long i knew the explanation was going to be a kind of longer than the other one but anyway let's go ahead and start off with our range build so oh i hate doing that so yeah, like I mentioned, we're just going to go for like the build where you can get a lot of kills from range. Obviously, the ADS is the downside, but it makes up for it in the damage at range. You guys will see. Let's see if I can uh, four tap this right there. I did, but oh, somebody teleported there. I'm going to actually have a player walk into the game right now. Good range boost there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. You can get a kill here. Again, we're just... Um, Oh, I potato those shot there. Get another kill there. The crazy thing about this is that it's a four tap for up to 30 meters. There's a sniper on that team, I think. So we'll, we'll let him do his thing. Uh, it looks like a real player. Honestly, like I said, this is pretty, pretty solid when it comes to like a gun. Again, the ADS is not the greatest. Yeah, that guy is the guy who just uh, shot me real good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and oh this guy right here just pushed up see if we can laser that sniper before it kills us that'd be a great test for the range you know what i mean because it is a oh let's see if that sniper there nope that's not him yeah a nice little two piece there oh oh all right that's the sniper that shot me again we're gonna go see if we can get the sniper kind of weird that someone just sniping like that all right, let's go ahead and shoot him. See if we can still try to figure out where he went. There's a guy behind us. I didn't kill this guy. There you go. See where that guy went. I hope they take Bravo. I kind of want to test a little longer with this gun. A little three tap here. A little three tap there. Get that guy with the shield turret. Probably want to break that as soon as possible so they don't... Oh. We're gonna kill this guy here. Look, little, little three tap, pretty insane. Not gonna lie. There we go. First half ended. Pretty good test overall. Good range. I wish it would last a little bit longer. But whatever, it's okay. Let's go ahead and try this out right here. This is our fast ADSB. We're gonna rush up, try to get as many fast kills as we can. So we'll see how it does. Look how fast we move. It it is so like it feels like an SMG vibe. Bro, that kind of, yeah. Oh. Like, you move so fast. You actually move so fast. You move so fast. It's kind of crazy how fast you move. Yeah. Oh, this guy's trying to shoot me from there. We're going to heal up. Look how fast we move. It's kind of crazy. Oh, we just got the, wow, we got lasered by the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what gun that was again. RPD? Like, he just moves so fast. Oh, ran out of bullets there. Again, the recoil control is one of that downside. It's, like, probably the biggest downside to recoil control, but you move so fast. And the ADS is just so nice for, like, a running gun kind of style. Oh, I'm dead. What? There's an enemy? Hello? This guy just just popped up right next to me. Yeah, like if you, oh, oh. Enemy shield turret deployed. Keep on. Oh, that's a that's a that's a trip mine. I could have died to. Counter UAV is up. Good work. UAV online. This guy this guy put a shield turret all the way in the back there, didn't he? Yep. I I. That running gun style though. You just run around and just. Enemy inside. That is, you know what? Now that I'm playing with this, it feels really good though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It feels like instead of using the RUS, you just use this KN. 
and it is actually absolutely nutty. It is absolutely like you don't even need to like oh, now bro i don't know man i don't know what do you guys think i i tried out the long range and it felt really good but this style like i play like the rushing up and and getting maybe even if i put like a silence it could be like a, a ninja build like part of my ghost build because that is absolutely insane we'll probably make a video if we did like the k like we're probably gonna upgrade the can as one of the first guns that we do because it is one of my favorite guns to use that was absolutely insane i i think that was crazy all right, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below, which build would you actually go with? Would you guys go with the long range build or would you go with the fast ADS? As of right now, that fast ADS might be a build that I would be going with, but with a little bit of tweak, which I will reveal that probably when the new server comes out because it seems to be insane. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Kill it. <laughs>